What'd you think about it? Think I'm gonna catch some fish today? Hmm? All right. Oh, this is it right here. Short sleeves in February. Man, um, I love these warm February days. We always get a few. And what I try to do is I try to, if we can get like two or three days in a row where it hits like maybe 60 degrees, high 50s, then I'll try to hit some of these creeks because sometimes that turns those fish on just a little bit. So this is a creek I love wading in the summer, but it's usually only productive like in dead of summer like really hot so i'm not sh not expecting a lot of bites today it's pretty warm man. it's like 55 right now and uh, my goal is i just want to catch two bass that's what i'm trying to get i see a couple decent what are those i see something over there I don't know if they were uh, bass, but I've seen a little bit of fish moving around. It's a good sign. I don't think those were bass. I think they were maybe in suckers. I'm really going to focus on these deep, slow pools. Don't think they're gonna be in any current right now. Got a couple red breasts right here. <clears throat> Hitting at my bait. All right, I've been going through this deep section. Oh, 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 oh. Are those bass? Oh no, there's big old. Oh my god, I thought those were bass. There's some huge suckers right here. Dude, I thought those were bass for a second. I just wanted them to be. There's a, I'm in this big deep stretch right here, like big deep stretch for this creek. And it's, almost, it's about waist deep, it's clear, I'm looking. And I've seen a lot of sunfish moving around, which is interesting. Oh, 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 I had a fish. Did he come back for it? I had a bass on. Of course, when I least expect it, I actually saw that fish. I just kind of picked out. I never really set the hook. I got like a weak little hook because it's set. Because I just thought I was snagged on, or just hit something. I had a bass. I saw him. I saw him come up. He was, he was like just barely hooked or maybe he just barely had a hold of it for just a minute. I just, after an hour, about an hour of walking, I just didn't expect it to be there. Oh, there's so many little, there's this whole thing is full of rocks and sticks and stuff. So I'm bumping off stuff the whole time. Oh, that's a fish. Oh, did you see that? I was a little fish. He's back, he's back. Where, where is it? Got it. Yes! Yes, we got it! I don't know if that's the same one or not that I that I missed earlier. Could have been. I thought he was a little bit bigger. Oh my goodness! Success! Usually, when I fish this creek, if I haven't caught five fish by now, it's a horrible day. That's what's so different in the summertime than in the winter. Cause usually I'm catching 10 or so. I was trying to decide if I should downsize to something smaller, but I mean, I, w I was actually expecting bigger fish, but I'll take this guy, this little 10 inch bass. Water's pretty cold there. He's a pretty fish. Oh, oh. Oh, I just lost one. I don't know what it was. Had another bite. 
it felt small but i saw it i think i hooked it too maybe they're just more fish right maybe they're in this area Oh, oh, I got thumped. But it didn't feel like anything big. It was just like, bam. Oh, what was that? Probably a big sunfish. So we took off the waders, put on some muck boots, spent two hours in that creek, got one little bass. Um, I saw some sunfish, so I got a ultralight rod and my bass rod, and we're gonna fish the bank of the river now. There's been some sunfish and some white bass been reported around this area. So we see if we can find them. There we go. Oh, goodness. Nothing's staying hooked. And I'm getting all kinds of bites. A lot of... This is stacked up small sunfish looks like. Just stacked up in there. Oh! Ooh, I saw that! That's not a bluegill. That was cool. He swiped it and he came back and got it again. I remember I got two pound lines so my drag is pretty loose. But I think this is bigger than the fish I caught in the creek. Look at that. That was cool. I knew there had to be something bigger in there. That's a perfect creek size. About a 12 incher. Hit that thing pretty good. Okay, well, we got another bass. All right, I wonder what all is in here just roaming around. Yep. Is that our second fish today that we've got in? Yeah. There we go. I've gotten hammered. Finally hooked one. There's got to be just hundreds of these bluegill in there. Oh, the bluegill just fighting good. All right, he's fired up. All right, it doesn't look like there's much else in here. There, I'm sure there's something in there that's probably like three or four pounds, just something down in there, picking up a bluegill or something every once in a while. But I'm not gonna be able to get it. Definitely getting just hammered by bluegill. All right, bunch of bluegill. Let's go search for some more stuff. What we got here? Oh, little bluegill. I'm trying to, there's a little ledge here with, um, with some trees and some rocks. Wonder if there's some crappie or white bass on it. Ooh. Oh! Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Little crappie right there. I think got a train about to go over top of us, but we should be alright here. There's 
sun is kind of right in our face right here but there's got to be more crappie down there there's like a i can barely see some logs or some maybe from the train bridge or something there's some structure down there that's probably why they're probably why they're there oh there we go there we go just kind of fishing it real slow the motor went by and i saw the a woman her hat flew off she turned around to get it oh yeah that feels better i bumped it right there oh well he's not huge but bigger than those other ones how'd you get along on him Uh, I'm using a, this is a one thirty seconds ounce, I think. So it's a really light jig head. And I'm just trying to hover it, you know, right over the logs and stuff that are down there. Or whatever. I, what, I can just see kind of just some kind of something down there. So it could be blocks from the bridge or um, stuff like that. I don't know. But there's something right there. And I'm just working that my lure we're trying to just bounce it a few feet under the water real slow and that's how i cut all those just real slow then like i'm barely moving i'm ooh, right there see okay they're right maybe they're more over here i was like two from right there barely moving it along and then they're just kind of like a little thump, a little light tap i got the sun right in my face right here though Boom, right there, three in a row. I don't know what they're, I can't see where they're coming from because they're just hitting below my visibility. Now that's not a bad one there. That's probably a close to a legal keeper. Maybe a little small, but that's not a bad one there. Okay, that's like three in a row. There he is. Four in a row. Hello, guys. Getting scouted out over here. I bet they were going to come hit this spot. Sorry, I won't be here all day, but I never fished. Uh, I never fished for crappie here. I don't think. Or I've only been over here a couple times. Kind of got to walk a little ways to get to this spot um by foot i usually fish on the other side of the bridge down over there but today we wanted to mix it up and you know what it was a good good choice we did We're, i was my first cast without catching one in five casts get the thing down there there we go back home there's gonna be a bigger one down there you'd think I wonder if they, they hang up in like by size. I don't know much about crappie if they if they kind of group up in size. Like bass kind of do that sometimes. It'd be just a, all this one size kind of hanging together. But I don't know. Right there. That feels better. Well, you not that much better. Well, this is not one of the things I thought I would be getting today. I didn't think I'd be sitting on a stack of crappie. It's, you know, I'm uh, I'm just kind of standing in the water right here, off the bank, casting out. You know, 15 feet, just boom. Just let my lure sink and kind of barely swimming it back to me. Oh, that crappie like stunned himself. Hold on. What? Oh, that one I threw in there, he just sat right there for a little bit. Now he swam back off. Oh, oh, that's bigger. Oh, he's a black nose. It's amazing how that stands out so much. Let 
not black nose, I forget what they're called. The black streak all the way down them on the bottom of that right there. Magnolia crab, that's what they're called. Oh. <laughs> oh man. It is so slow paced and like methodical. Just but I'm getting a I've gotten one I probably I don't know. Say the last 30 casts, we've probably got 12 crappie at least. But it's just I cast it out. I just slow i'm probably not even showing the cast to catch because it's so slow it's probably like a 15 minute or not 15 minute 15 second boom right there it's like a cast 15 second delay at least before i get one so it's like boom 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 i'd like to see them i wish i could see them i wish the water was clear enough where i could just kind of see them but the water, it's clear. The water's pretty clear. This is this is pretty clear water. I'd say the visibility is three feet. Um, or more. Maybe more than that. But those fish are somewhere just out of my sight. And it's funny how fish are like that a lot of time. I wonder, I don't know what it is. I've seen that a lot where you cast just out of where you can see and like you'll catch fish. But if you can see them. I guess they can see you that clear too, but you, I mean, fish can, there he is. Fish can see better than we can see, but it's something about that. Like finding those fish just out of sight, seems to make it, seems to make them bite easier. Yep. All right, we know these fish are here. I've caught a bunch. If I wanted, if I wanted to just catch as many fish as I want, can catch, then I wouldn't, I wouldn't change a thing. I would just stay exactly doing this. But after I've caught fish, I also want to learn and try other things. Let me, let me cast some other lures around. Let me move around, see what, see if anything changes or anything makes a difference. Maybe, I mean, if I catch less fish or more fish, at least I'm learning something and i might end up catching bigger ones um and learn you know so i like to learn as if i especially when i know i'm getting bites i know i'm getting bites right there uh let's try messing around all right first thing we're gonna do is throw a swim bait around a little out a little bit further just kind of slowly swimming in Oh, there we go. We're back. I've been trying to find this copy about five, ten minutes again. I kind of, I don't know if they moved or if I've been fishing too fast. Nothing else has worked out other than right here. All right, now I want a little rhythm again. Maybe they moved up just a little bit. I don't know how big this um, pile is. Is it, you know, tons of feet, like 10 feet wide or just a couple feet wide or, or what? So the goal for creek fishing for bass is about every two weeks, I'll probably give it a try um, at a few different places and um, I know it feels like uh, we're still in the middle of winter, but here pretty soon those fish get, start getting active. And uh, I can't wait to start hooking into some, just like 15, 16 inch large mouths and small mouths. But the crappie that I came across today, that was uh, pretty cool, pretty interesting. And that's a place I might actually hit here pretty soon, just kind of return there and see if I can get on them again. Um, especially as uh, we got more cold days coming. Today was nice, but we still got some more cold weather coming. Thanks for watching.